Welcome to Beth's Happy Home. Uncertain times have caused an upsurge in the interest in food storage. But some of us have been storing food for a long time. And um, I'm one of those people. I've been having a food storage for many, many years. Um, in fact, so many years that when we made the move from Oklahoma to Utah, we um, got rid of our oldest food storage, um, gave it away, and uh, some of it were, was taken by our children, and they have used some of it, and it was perfectly fine. So I didn't really need to get rid of it, except that we had way more than we needed anyway, because our family has gotten smaller as our children have moved out, and they've gotten their own food storage. Anyway, today I'm going to open some of the old stuff that we still have. And uh, when I say that I got rid of the oldest stuff, I'm talking if it was over 30 years old, we got rid of it. But we still have, um, um, for instance, these potato flakes. And you can see the date, or maybe you can see the date. It's 298. So these are a mere 22 years old. I'm going to open the bottom of the can and see how they have fared. I'm opening the bottom of the can because it has a narrower, a narrower lip. Narrower is harder to say than I thought it was. A narrower lip than the top of the can does because these were canned in a home canning center. And um, so the, the lid is not as, um, it, as pinched on the top where it was done by the machine. It's perfectly sealed, I'm sure. But um, So, let's see how the, these mashed potato flakes did. Okay, I'm tell, I can tell right away that they are a very faintly darker color. They were whiter, I think, when they went into the can. Somewhere buried, probably on the bottom, what is now the bottom of the can, there is an, uh, an oxygen packet in here. So I'm going to taste it and see if they taste stale. Mashed potato flakes are bland. These are no different than they were when they went into the can. Um, so, 22 year old mashed potato flakes, good thing to store. They don't deteriorate at all. They taste perfectly fine. Quick oats, okay. These quick oats are youngsters. They're only 17 years old. So, let's open them and see if they look stale or taste stale. They look exactly like you would expect them to look from the store. And I'll taste them. It tastes like raw oats, but I'm going to cook some of these with a little bit of water just to see if they cook into a nice porridge, if there's any kind of a, of a flavor that I can detect from uh, stored. <coughs> so I'm going to put um, a fourth of a cup of raw oats in there and half a cup of water. I'll microwave it for a minute and see how it does. A little bit of salt. If you don't salt your oats, they don't taste very good. If you're making an oatmeal porridge. Okay, so we'll get back to those. But I have a feeling that oats are another ideal thing to store because they did not taste any different, not a trace of staleness. Those mylar bags aren't going to stand up very well. Okay, next is milk. Now this is also only 18 years old and stored with an oxygen packet and vacuum sealed so you can feel it's really hard and it's still very hard. Um, yeah, this is powdered milk of course. Uh, and I like to use powdered milk in my hot cocoa mix and because I have my recipe, you've seen my weight loss mix if uh, you've watched that video. And so I was interested in opening some of this older stuff. Anyway, a fourth of a cup of milk powder. It looks perfectly normal. It smells like powdered milk. 
I'm pretty sure this was instant milk, although I didn't write that on there, did I? No, it just says milk. Whoops. It's not acting like instant milk, however. It is not instant milk, so it's kind of lumpy. It needs to be stirred really well. Or, actually, what I should have done, this non-instant powdered milk will will mix very readily into what? Um, the instant milk will dissolve in immediately in water. The non-instant kind, um, you're supposed to mix it with hot water, and I this is cold water, and so because I wanted to drink it right away, tell you how it tastes. But you can still break it up if you you can still get rid of the lumps if you stir it real vigorously. I think it's good enough. If I get a lump in my mouth, that's not going to hurt me. Actually, that's really good milk. It's really good tasting powdered milk, and it has no trace of staleness either after 18 years. So that's a win. I'm going to put this over here so it doesn't tip over. And next, let's see what we have. Um, let's do macaroni. This is 21, almost 22 years old. And since this has, whoops, 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 I want to open it, open the bottle. This has a little dent in it that I hadn't noticed before. I might not be able to get around that with the can opener. Can't. The macaroni has um, more ingredients in it. I don't think it has any oil in it, so it probably is okay. I'm just going to taste a raw one. Is the sound of that crunch obnoxious? Tastes like raw macaroni. Again, no trace of any stale flavor at all. And all of these that I'm opening today were packaged with a um, an oxygen packet so that they would um, and the oxygen packet, if there's any moisture in the can at all, it will interact with that oxygen packet and the oxygen packet will bind all the oxygen in the can. I'm gonna try to break off this lid. I don't really want it sticking up. Oh well, I'll put it over here for now. Um, okay, here's a little different twist. These are canned peaches. Now, they were canned by my mother's husband, Bud Arnold, and he died in um, in 2016 in January. And so he would have canned these at the very, um, I think he stopped canning um, years before. His mark on the top of the lid is pretty illegible, but I think I can see that this is 2010. So these are about 10 years old. Um, that they've been in the can and the, the lid was still sealed well they've started to discolor up quite a bit and bud canned them without any extra sugar so they are not as sweet as they ought to be which is probably why they discolored so discolored so much they don't have an unpleasant flavor at all. They actually have a, a somewhat of a fresher taste than you usually get with canned peaches, but they're not sweet. They're not very sweet canned this way because the natural sugar of the peach leaches into the leaches into the jar or leaches into the water, and that's why you put sugar in it so that it doesn't so that it keeps the sugar in the peach. But it, it certainly hasn't spoiled anyway, and the, the flavor is pleasant enough. I just need to add some sugar to it. He was not hot on sugar. So, let's see how this oatmeal porridge looks. I'm gonna put a little bit of milk in there. I'm not going to open any of the white sugar that I have in storage because I know that white sugar will last forever. It is itself a preservative and, uh, and it's not going to deteriorate. You can keep it as long as you want to and it's gonna be fine. 
Okay, this looks normal. There is virtually no detectable deterioration. That just tastes like oatmeal porridge. Needs a little bit of cinnamon and sugar. But good. Okay. Um, I opened these chopped onions earlier because I needed to use them. And just a note, they're perfectly fine. A note is that these cans that I got from Providence Pantry um, are only about half full when you open them up. They say all over the front that they're packed by weight and what that really means is that you're not getting nearly the quantity that you're expecting to get. And so I've only used about half of what was in this can and you can see there's only about a quarter of it left. So, but they taste perfectly fine and they, um, they were about 22 years old. Um, well, they, they still are about 22 years old. Oh, that's another one. Oh, you don't need to do that one. Okay, banana slices. Now, I'm interested in these because I, I stored these just to be kind of a treat. And uh, but I'm not sure how they keep because some of the dehydrated bananas have kind of a, an oily coating on them when they're stored. And uh, so I don't think they taste that great going in. Uh, but so I'm really interested to see how they are now. My kids really liked them back in the day when this was put in. This one is um, this one is marked packaged in 2002, I do believe. So it also is about 18 years old. Still got a lip, lip on there. Ah. All right. That has a little bit of a stale flavor. I think I will put them out. Some of my grandkids are coming over today, and they'll like them. But as I said, I didn't like them that well when I put them into the can, or when I um, first tried these. They're pretty good. They probably, you know, the kids will like them. Um, but there is that, that faint, stale flavor. And I'm not sure it wasn't there when I bought these. But um, I don't think that they've deteriorated very much. So you put garbage in, you get garbage out. Oh, my cameraman husband wants to try one. What do you think? I agree with you. Yeah, they're just okay. Um, this cheese powder, um, I, well, what did I see the package date was? Um, this, um, I think, is also 2002 that this was packaged. There's not a date on the bottom. And I've been using this. And the cheese powder, or cheese blend powder from Provident Pantry, um, is really good. You'd be surprised. I truly expected it to taste really stale, and it doesn't at all. And not only that, you mix it with water and it makes a really nice nacho sauce. Um, I, If you add like a can of um, chopped green chilies and mix this up to form a nacho sauce, oh, it's yummy. It's really good. Or make it with macaroni and cheese. Now that I have a, a, a very ancient um, can of, of macaroni that's open, I'll make some macaroni and cheese to go with, uh, uh, to go with some meal. So the cheese, I know, is a winner. And then, um, oh, this stew mix. This is another one that I opened the other day because I wanted to, I just wanted to see what it was doing. And um, it tastes fine. It's not stale. But here again, this is that same, oh, this one is marked Morning Moo, but I think I bought it from Emergency Essentials, and it, it was originally Provident Pantry, I think. 
Um, and this is what it looks like. It's very finely um, chopped, almost to crumbs, complete crumbs, vegetables, and it's mostly potatoes. And so the mixed vegetables, the stew mix, the can was only about half full. I've only taken a cup of the stew mix out of this can and look at all the space. So they say they're packaging it by weight, but um, they are only filling it half full anyway. Uh, so look at the weight and that's what you're getting. But also look at the contents. This is potatoes and then onions, which are a lot cheaper to buy separately. And then it has a little tiny bit of carrots and green peppers and things like that. But um, this is was a bad purchase in the first place because you're not really getting enough to make a serving of vegetables and you may as well just store the potatoes and the onions separately because that's essentially what you're going to get. The good news is it wasn't the least bit stale. It tasted the same as it had when it went into the storage a long time ago. Okay, um, one more thing that I want to show you is this textured vegetable protein. And I emptied it out of its can that was 22 years old. Um, um, several months ago. Textured veg, um, it's uh, commonly known as TVP and that's what it stands for, textured vegetable protein. And what they do is they take soy protein and they give it a texture, they form it into a texture that's sort of like um, ground meat and then they flavor it up. This is taco flavoring and I've tried several different varieties of the TVP. And the taco flavoring is the, my favorite one and because you can um, just rehydrate it with a little bit of water and it will um, make a really nice taco filling and it tastes really good. Sometimes I will brown hamburger and then put the TVP, half again as much um, TVP in there and it is flavored nicely you don't guess other than the texture is a little finer than the hamburger um, so this old stuff 22 years old that hasn't even been sealed for probably the last eight months um, still tastes perfectly fine um, just exactly the way that it did when it went into storage and um, <clears throat> I think this is a really good thing to store because it's a really good meat substitute <clears throat> eating the taco flavor plain maybe wasn't the best idea but anyway those are some of the things that you may have in food storage that you may have been worried about that they might not be good anymore and I'm pleased to tell you that the only thing that I think is a little bit suspect are these banana chips but then again I didn't taste I bought them already canned and so I don't know what they were like going in I have a feeling that they didn't change much in all that time. Um, they were okay when they went in and they're okay coming out. So that's the good news is that their old stuff is probably still good and um, happy eating. <laughs>